In this video, I want to find the limit as x approaches 0 of the x to the root of 1 plus x using the squeeze theorem. Now I'm just going to let y equal the x to the root of 1 plus x. So the natural log of y would be the natural log of the right side, which I can rewrite it as ln of 1 plus x raised to the 1 over x power. And so the exponent comes out in front. Now I want to use uh, an upper and lower bound for ln of 1 plus x. So I just want to explain why this inequality works r roughly. Um, so here we're looking at x approaching 0. So at x equals 0, this is 0, this is 0, and this is 0. Now the derivative is 1 minus 2x, 1 over 1 plus x, and then 1. So at x equals 0, if I plug it in, the derivative is 1, 1, and 1. But if I plug in, let's say, x equals 1 fourth, that becomes 1 half. And this is 4 fifths. And this is 1. So clearly, the derivative is greater for x and then ln of 1 plus x is second greatest and then x minus x squared is the smallest one. So the function, think of it like they start off at the same point but x is growing faster than ln of 1 plus x and x minus x squared. And then we're considering only where the absolute value of x is less than or equal to 1 half. So that's a way to understand this inequality. And so if I divide both sides by x, I'm left with 1 minus x is less than or equal to ln of 1 plus x over x, less than or equal to 1. Taking the limits of the, the, these two sides, we find that the limit is 1. And so by the squeeze theorem, ln of 1 plus x over x also has to be 1. Now, recall that we had let y equal x to the root of 1 plus x. So take the natural log of both sides. We have ln of y is equal to 1 over x ln of 1 plus x. So this right here is just the natural log of y. And I want to find the limit as x approaches 0 of y, not natural log of y. So the way I do that is by removing the natural log and I raise both sides by e. e to the limit as x approaches 0 of natural log y is just e because, well, as x approaches 0, that goes to 1. So this is what we found by the squeeze theorem. And so our final answer is e.